Hello, and welcome to another Vector Tuts Quick Tip video tutorial. My name is Sean Kelly, and today we'll be looking at digital inking using the Blob Brush tool and the Eraser tool. And of course, I'm using a pressure sensitive digital tablet for this. Now, as you can see, I've already placed in a sketched piece of artwork into my sketch layer. I've made the artwork 50% transparent and locked the layer. Now I'm working in a layer below. I'm going to choose black as my fill color and double click into the blob brush to set its options. Now you can see that in tolerances we have fidelity and that's the amount of pixels that your pen will travel while you are creating a blob brush stroke before Illustrator makes a new point. So the lower the number, the tighter the stroke. Now smoothness is set to 8%, so the higher the smoothness, the more uh, rounded and simplified your stroke will be. I like to keep my smoothness pretty low, so close to the artwork that I was creating. And here in my brush options, you can see my size is set to 11 point and my variation is 10.3 point. So that means it's, my stroke is going to go from pretty much nothing to 11 point. And this is controlled by my pen pressure on my tablet. Now the angle and the roundness I'm not worried about because I just want to keep a uh, fine stroke. So we'll go OK and double click on the eraser tool. And it's pretty much the same here for my eraser tool options. My diameter um, is 12 point. Uh, it's controlled by the pressure and my variation is also about 12 point. So we're going from almost nothing to a full 12 point and we'll go OK then. So, hitting Shift B to bring up my blob brush tool and I'm going to just start tracing over. So I'm going fairly hard at the moment because it's my outline, my outside lines. There we go. Now we can use um, the eraser tool, Shift E, to go in and clean up. And you can see when I select this artwork, this is all one artwork. When you're using the blob brush tool, if you stroke over using the same color, it will merge. So it merges all the artwork that intersects of the same color. All right. So now, um, here's some artwork that I prepared earlier. Now, once you get used to how the blob brush works, creating an artwork such as this should only take you around five to 10 minutes. So it's an extremely fast and intuitive process. As you can see, it's not exactly perfect. We've got a few blobs around the place. So I'm going to be using my eraser tool, so it's Shift E, to go through and clean up some of these areas. Now again, you don't have to be too precise here. Command Z to undo, of course. And if you go over it a little bit too much, you can always just go back to the pen, or not sorry, the pen tool, the blob brush tool, and that is Shift B. Okay, so it's all looking all right. So I'm going to go Shift B now, and I'll just increase the stroke along these arms. Not quite that much. Shift E for the eraser. Just 
Get rid of those bits around there. Shift B for the brush. All right. So, as I said, uh, once you get used to the flow of how the uh, blob brush tool works, you should be able to create some very interesting line work effects in a very, very short period of time.